Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Diversity in Living Organisms. Question number 1. Flagella are long whip like structures that help in movement. Which of the following protists has flagella? Option A. Paramecium. Option B. Amoeba. Option C. Chlorella. Option D. Euglena. The correct answer is Option D. Euglena. Euglena is the correct answer as Euglena uses flagella for locomotion. Question number 2. Fungi are saprophytes or parasitic. Which of the following is not a fungus? Option A. Spirogyra. Option B. Rhizopus. Option C. Aspergillus. Option D. Penicillium. The correct answer is Option A. Spirogyra. Spirogyra is the correct answer as Spirogyra is an autotroph with a thalloid body. It is an alga. Question number 3. Moss is a radially symmetrical leafy bryophyte with multicellular rhizoids. Which of the following is slash are the examples of moss? A. Punaria. B. Brium. C. Mashantia. Option A. A only. Option B. B only. Option C. C only. Option D. A and B3. Two chambered heart occurs in A. Crocodiles. Fish. Avst. Amphibians. The correct answer is Option B. B only. Crocodiles have four chambered heart. Aves and amphibians have three chambered heart. Two chambered heart occurs in fishes. Question number four. Which of the following statements is slash are correct? A. The branch of science that deals with classification is called taxonomy. B. E. H. Hackel proposed five classification system of organisms. C. Eichler divided plant kingdom into two subkingdoms. Option A. A, B and C. Option B. A and B. Option C. A and C. Option D. B and C. The correct answer is Option D. B and C. This is the correct matching as Kingdom Animalia is the kingdom of multicellular consumers within digestion, digestion and assimilation processes of nutrition. Kingdom Plantae consists of all photosynthetic green plants. Kingdom Fungi lacks chlorophyll and obtains food through absorption. Kingdom Protista consists of all unicellular organisms. Kingdom Manure consists of all bacteria and cyanobacteria. Question number 5. Skeleton is made entirely of cartilagin. Option A. Sharks. Option B. Tuna. Option C. Rohu. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Sharks. Cartilaginous fishes have endoskeleton made up of cartilage. For example. Scoliodon, dogfish, shark torpedo, stingray, etc. Question number 6. Organisms are classified on basis of their species. What is a group of closely related species called which has certain common characters? Option A. Family. Option B. Genus. Option C. Phylum. Option D. Order. The correct answer is Option B. Genus. Genus is the correct answer as genus is a group of closely related species having certain common characters. Question number 7. All of the following are gymnosperms, except Option A. Ferns. Option B. Cycas. Option C. Cadrus. Option D. Thuja.
The correct answer is option A. Ferns. Ferns are Pteridophyta plants. Question number 8. All of the following belong to the phylum Porifera, except option A. Sicken. Option B. Euplectella. Option C. Aurelia. Option D. Euspongia. The correct answer is Option C. Aurelia. Aurelia is the correct answer as Aurelia is a type of jellyfish and belongs to the phylum Coelenterata. Question number 9. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Option A. The coelomic cavity of Annelida is blood filled. Option B. Annelida are bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic. Option C. And Lida have extensive organ differentiation. Option D. Reproduction in an Lida is bisexual means. The correct answer is Option A. The coelomic cavity of an Lida is blood filled. The body cavity has organ differentiation, but it is not blood filled in an Lida. Question number 10. Which of the following statements is correct about Anthropoda? Option A. Anthropoda have an internal skeleton. Option B. Anthropoda have a reduced blood cavity filled with hemocoil. Option C. Anthropoda have an otocord. Option D. Anthropoda have dorsal nerve cord. The correct answer is Option B. Anthropoda have a reduced blood cavity filled with hemocoil. This is the correct answer as anthropoda have a reduced blood cavity filled with hemocoil, i.e. the cavity is filled with blood. Question number 11. Which of the following are classified under Kingdom Manira? A. Bacteria. B. Chlamydomonas. C. Blue-green algae. D. Mycoplasm. Option A. A. B. C. and D. Option B. A, B and C. Option C. A, B and D. Option D. A, C and D. The correct answer is. Option D. A, C and D. This is the correct answer as bacteria, cyanobacteria, i.e. blue-green algae and mycoplasm are classified as manera. Question number 12. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Option A. Fish have a two-chambered heart. Option B. Frogs have a three-chambered heart. Option C. Lizards have a three-chambered heart. Option D. Pigeons have a two-chambered heart. The correct answer is. Option D. Pigeons have a two-chambered heart. Pigeons are warm-blooded with a two-chambered heart. Question number 13. Which among the following produce seeds? Option A. Thalophyta. Option B. Bryophyta. Option C. Pteridophyta. Option D. Gymnosperms. The correct answer is. Option D. Gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are seed-bearing vascular plants, such as cycads, ginkgo, yews and conifers, in which the ovules or seeds are not enclosed in an ovary. The word gymnosperm comes from the Greek word gymnospermos, meaning naked seeds. Question number 14. Which among the following is exclusively marine? Option A. Porifera. Option B. Echinodermata. Option C. Mollusca. Option D. Pisces. The correct answer is. Option B. Echinodermata. Echinodermat on the other hand are spiny skinned marine animals. Porifera consist of sponges which are aquatic animals which remain fixed to the bottom of the sea. Most sponges are marine but few freshwater forms are also seen like spongilla. Mollusca are soft-bodied and segmented animals. 
mollusks are marine as well as terrestrial forms. Pisces are found in both marine water, for example, dogfish, and fresh water, for example, rohu. Question number 15. In which group of animals, coelom is filled with blood? Option A. Anthropoda. Option B. Annelida. Option C. Nematoda. Option D. Echinodermata. The correct answer is Option A. Anthropoda. The true coelom is a body cavity which arises as a cavity in embryonic mesoderm. In arthropods, annelids and mollusca, it develops by splitting up of mesoderm. It is called schizocelom. But in the cavity of anthropoda and non cephalopoda mollusks, a colorless blood is present and is called hemocoel. In echinoderms and chordates, the mesoderm arises from the wall of embryonic gut or enteron as hollow outgrowths or enterocoelomic pouches. In coelentrates, body cavity is absent. In roundworms, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm, instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches. Such body cavity is called pseudocoelom. Question number 16. Which one is a true fish? Option A. Jellyfish. Option B. Starfish. Option C. Dogfish. Option D. Silverfish. The correct answer is. Option C. Dogfish. Jellyfish or jellies are approximately cylindrical vase-shaped individuals of phylum Nidaria. These are free-swimming marine animals consisting of a gelatinous umbrella-shaped bell, pulsate for locomotion, and tentacles, to capture prey. Starfish are star-shaped echinoderms. These are marine invertebrates which have a central disc and five arms, tube feet for locomotion. Scoliodon, dogfish belongs to the class chondrocytes, i.e., Pisces. These fishes are known as dogfish due to their ability to smell. Lepismesaturina commonly known as silverfish is small wingless insect belongs to phylum Anthropoda. Question number 17. Pteridophyta do not have Option A. Root Option B. Stem Option C. Flowers Option D. Leaves. The correct answer is Option C. Flowers. Pteridophytes are the oldest vascular plants. Their bodies are differentiated into an aerial shoot system and an underground root system. The reproductive organs are multicellular. The pollen produced by these plants are carried by the wind and an embryo develops after fertilization. These plants do not produce seeds, or are seedless plants and have no flowers. Question number 18. Identify a member of Porifera. Option A. Spongilla. Option B. Euglena. Option C. Penicillium. Option D. Hydra. The correct answer is. Option A. Spongilla. Spangilla belongs to the phylum Porifera members of which pass a spurious body and are fixed to substrate with habitats. Euglena is a protist, Penicillium belongs to kingdom fungi and Hydra is a coelentrate. Question number 19. Which is not an aquatic animal? Option A. Hydra. Option B. Jellyfish. Option C. Corals. Option D. Falaria. The correct answer is Option D. Falaria. Falaria is a disease caused by Wuxeria bancrofti. It is not an aquatic animal, whereas Hydra is a coelentrate and is a freshwater organism. Jellyfish is a marine animal. Corals are cnidarians and marine invertebrates. Question number 20. Amphibians do not have the following. Option A. Three-chambered heart. Option B. Gills or lungs. Option C. Scales. Option D. Mucus glands.
The correct answer is Option C. Scales 20. Amphibians do not have scales. Instead their skin has mucus secreting glands. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonder Slate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.